Professor Yakubo Morris Obey, Peter Obi wins big as court forces INEC to provide 100% election documents. Nigerians, this is getting tougher. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, the case between Mr. Peter Obi and the Labour Party against the Independent National Electoral Commission, the President elect Bola Tinubu and the Vice President elect Kasim Shetima has been postponed by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal until Friday, May 19, 2023. This was decided upon after the court found that INEC had disregarded the court order to allow the Labour Party to assess the evidence. Instances that the Labour Party representatives left a meeting with them on Tuesday was made by Mr. Tinubu's late attorney, Wale Hassan, and the INEC. They also requested that the justice set a specific date for them to present the document, but this request was turned down. As a result, as a result, they demanded 1.5 million naira from the Labour Party team in order to obtain the document. Ike Chuku, Eze Chuku, San, and Professor Paul Anamba San, two members of the council, was present at the meeting. The Labour Party Council, Dr. Levy Uzokwe-san, objected. Dr. Uzokwe also revealed that despite writing five letters to Professor Yakubu Mahmoud, the INEC chairman, okay, the chairman of INEC, the team only received 30% of the documents. Ole and the other parties served us documents on Monday and some yesterday and even today, weeks in court, this is all tactics. Officially, we are ready to pay any amount INEC wants from us if they will give us all the documents we need today. I will meet with the council and report to the court, said Dr. Levy. In a related development, on May 17, 2023, Kenneth Okonkwo, the chieftain of the Labour Party, confirmed this report on his Twitter account. Kenneth Okonkwo con continued by implying that if they had nothing to hide, the INEC would have provided them with the necessary proof. He claimed in his tweet, breaking news, the Peter Obi legal team has revealed that INEC refused to give the legal team 70% of the evidence which they are required to give by law. If they do not have anything to hide, why are they not giving us the required evidence, as they should? In the case of River States, the ROEC bluntly refused to give us anything. However, God is in control. We are on it. Meanwhile, Lamito Apapa, the functional leader of the Labour Party, was humiliated in court by obedience for trying to obstruct Peter Obi's petition hearing that was yesterday. In a viral videos making the rant on social media, Mr. Apapa can be seen being booed while police officers keep him safe from the mobs and rots outside the court of Abuja headquarters where the presidential election petition court is being held. Nigerians. Just like words, you know, most Nigerians are saying, if INEC does not have anything to hide, why are they refusing to, you know, present those documents to Labour Party to assess them? You know, this is what you get when you continue, when you continue to do the wrong thing. You know, so then they talk one thing, they say, when, that's when they lie, where, where? If you lie, you go to say you're dead smart. And once you lie, eh, you don't give yourself big punishment because you have to lie more to cover up that one lie. It's a problem. That is exactly what is happening. I neck don't do something very bad. 
and now they are stuck. They don't even know how to go about it. You understand? They are stuck. So those people who are saying, I neck did this, I neck did not do this, I neck not try for this election, or whether or not I like them or not. That election, we cannot call that election. That election that the INEC chairman spent 350 billion naira. And I don't hear that one. That was the amount he spent for that election. That election that was like child's play. We have never seen this kind of a thing. Even before now, Nigeria never spent this kind of money for election. After promising us all heaven and earth that the election is going to be free and fair, the election is going to be, be the best in the world. It has turned to be the worst in the world. What a shame. Make una carry evidence, give them if you know that you 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 are really telling yourself the truth. Carry evidence, give them. Even when you they manipulate, the judges then they see. Or let's say they not want talk. You understand? Lie. You know they feel they cover lie finish. It's not possible. You can never cover life finish because as it they cover around, it they come out, it they come out for all angles. So that is it. They don't give themselves punishment with this. You have to continue to look for how to cover up what you did. So there is no need hiding the evidence now. If you know that the election was free and fair, if you know that the result you you pronounce was the real result, you know, and whatsoever. Give it to them. Let them have access to it. Give it to them. Then the, the judges, the court will decide if um, Peter will be, he's just deceiving himself that he won the election and he did not, then he will go and relax. If Atiku Abubakar is deceiving himself that he, they rigged the election against him, he will still go and, and sleep. If by the end of the day, the INEC have provided all this evidence, and nothing is wrong with the pronouncement of uh, um, the APC presidential candidate, Pete, uh, Labour Party, I beg your pardon, Tinubu, Ahmed Tinubu, then uh, let him be inaugurated. But if by the end of the day there is something wrong, then something seriously must be done to that. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.